Welcome to the Winning the Game of Life series. You know, today I'm going to focus on the key to lasting happiness, one of the chapters in my book. And you know, happiness, isn't that what we all want? Isn't that the ultimate aim? Many times when I ask people in life, you know, what's your goal? And they tell me, to be happy. And when they say that to me, I say, I've got bad news and I've got good news for you. The bad news is, if your goal in life is to be happy, you will never ever achieve this goal. And they say, why? And I say, because happiness is not a goal to be achieved. Happiness is a state of mind in which you're in right now. In other words, if right now you wanted to be happy, truly happy, could you? Yeah. All you've got to do is to focus on all the things in your life which you're grateful for. Focus on all the things that you have that people don't have. Like for example, the fact that you've got your career, you've got your family, you've got your health. You live in a country where you're free to explore and to learn and you'll be happy, right? But today, no matter what you have, you can have all the houses, you can have all the cars, all the money. Could you feel depressed right now? Of course. All you gotta do is to focus on every little thing in life that bugs you. Focus on everything that doesn't meet your expectations and you'll be depressed right now. And I can bet you something, no matter where you are in life, there'll always be things that bug you. There'll always be things that does not match your expectations. And some people are experts in this and so they always feel depressed. In other words, if you can't be happy today, if you don't have to be happy today, you'll never ever be happy. Because happiness is a state of mind and you've got to practice happiness. You know, in my line of work, I work with all kinds of people. I know people who are extremely wealthy. I've got this friend of mine who married this multi-millionaire, right? And her husband is worth a few hundred million dollars. And she's basically someone who's like a housewife, but she doesn't work at all. She lives in this 20,000 square foot bungalow. She's got this, her own Mercedes Benz, her own driver. She wears Prada, she wears Gucci, she plays Mahjong every day. She goes shopping every day, right? And you think that this woman must be absolutely happy. But guess what? She's depressed. In fact, she's on drugs. You know, she, she takes these antidepressant pills. And every time I talk to her, she's got this scar on her face. And she's always miserable. And when I ask, you know, what's wrong? She says, everything's wrong. You know, my driver comes late. You know, my mate did not iron my dress properly. I, I lost in mahjong and my husband, you know, came back late. And you know, nothing's working. She's depressed, okay? But I've also worked with people who are poor. You know, when I do charity work with like, you know, certain groups where we go to one room flats, you know, government flats and we give away free food. I've been to flats where it's just one room, seven people in that one room. They've got no TV, they've got no computer games, they lie on the floor in mats. They're so poor, but they're happy. You know, when I go there and I give them food, the kids run up to me and they say, hi, how are you? The man of the house is smiling and they're genuinely so happy. So what I come to realize is this, that you know what? Happiness doesn't come from outside. It's not like some magical dust that touches you and you become happy, right? Happiness comes from inside. All that joy is already inside you waiting to get out. But we all have rules in our head. Rules of what must happen before we give ourselves permission to be happy. Like to some people, their rule is as long as I do my best, I'm with the people I care about, I'm happy. And that's why they're always happy. These are the happy-go-lucky people, right? There are some people, they've got this rule in their head that says, you know what, only when everything goes the way I want, then I'll be happy. And so they're always depressed because in life, nothing ever goes the way we want. So you've got to be careful of the rules you've set up for yourself. See, in the past, I used to have this belief that I had to achieve to be happy. That was my rule, okay? I said to myself, you know, the day I make my first million, I'll be happy. The day I buy my bungalow, I'll be happy. The day I buy my sports car, I'll be happy. The day I get married, I'll be happy. So I went for all these things in life. So question was, when I got all these things, was I happy? Yes, I was really happy for one day. <laughs> and guess what? Three days later, I was depressed again. I was stressed again, thinking that you know, I have to achieve something else to keep being happy. And it was insane. Because I was only happy you know, 5 or 1% of the time. And 99% of the time, I was unhappy, striving to get what I think would make me happy. So instead, today I've got a different philosophy in life. I believe that instead of achieving to be happy, we need to happily achieve. Happily achieve. In other words, we've got to find the joy of doing what we do every day. Find the joy of solving problems, of meeting challenges. Find the joy of working with people. I find the joy of creating businesses, both the problems in the business and the ability to meet people. Find the joy in writing books. That's what I do. I find the joy in making this video. Okay, if not, I won't be getting up so early in the morning to make this video right now. Okay, so enjoy the journey because when you find that uh, you become happy along the journey you know what you don't have to discipline yourself you are naturally motivated 
all right? You tend, to wait, you tend to find that when you are happy in life, doing what you do, you tend to do your best work naturally. So join me in this journey of being happy, all right? And enjoy it. Mm-hmm.